Hey guys, I know, I know, it's been a while since I've posted a video and I'm really sorry about that. I thought I'd come back with a very cosmetic therapy kind of video. This may not be to everyone's taste. I think I'll be able to pull it off. So if you want to see how it turns out, then just keep watching. So really the first thing you want to do is move your hair out of your face and I'm going to do just that. I use a really huge clip to hold my hair because I've broken like a million of these clips. I use this band. I got it from Amazon. This really helps because it just keeps all of the hair out of your face and you have a really clean canvas to work on. So before I forget to mention, this is my inspiration, this blue purplish butterfly and I'm going to attempt to do something really artistic and design this on my eyes. I am going to start by priming my eyes with this concealer cream from Kiko highlighting fluid concealer basically you pump it out and it comes to the tip I'm just gonna put some of it on my lid blend it out with my fingers you can even put it under your eyes so it's really versatile that way so basically what I did is just con concealed any blemishes that I saw on my skin. Um, I get cystic hormonal acne once in a while and the scars take some time to go. So that's why I just, just for this video, I'm just going to cover them up a little bit so that it doesn't distract from the artistic look that I'm going for. So I just finished using the concealer and it's made a very slight difference or a big difference if you can see here is another kiko product i am a huge 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 fan of kiko because their products surprisingly don't give me any breakouts and it's something i've struggled with so i'm really happy with kiko products um matte long lasting eyeshadow and i'm gonna be using this to outline the shape of the butterfly on my eye and i think you'll get it as i go along like maybe it'll make sense i hope it does i don't know Unfortunately though, the problem with this is that it's a matte eyeshadow and so it kind of dries really fast. This is a bobby brown palette. So I'm just gonna layer that up with this white shade here. It's called Undercover. So I have this other white color eyeliner of sorts. Uh, so I'm just gonna outline the butterfly design with this and hope that it works. Okay, and now we're getting into the fun part, which is the part where I add the color to the butterfly. And so I have a few shades 
of eyeshadow again from Kiko because that's how much I love Kiko. This is not sponsored by Kiko, although I am available Kiko if you would like to reach out to me. Uh, I have this color, it's a lilac. Lilac? Lilac? Okay, however you pronounce it. It has a slight shine to it, but it's really pretty. And this, the second one is this light blue shade and also really gorgeous it has a slight shine to it as well but a really pretty color these two colors and fade them out as i go along As you can see, I'm just trying to concentrate the purple color in the corner of my eye so that it has a kind of fade effect to it. And I'm kind of extending it so that it blends well with the blue shade that I'm gonna start adding on to it. Again, just making sure that none of this, those white lines are seen. Now that it has this kind of fading look to it, I can start adding the blue. Use this blue on the outer corner and see how that works. Take some of that and start drawing it where I would like it to go in the outermost corners and then work my way outside in. very quickly did my eyebrows and outlined the butterfly with this dark blue shade it's a Kiko eyeliner it's really soft and the color is really beautiful I also used this purple shade it's a pretty dark purple shade I also went into the corners of my eye with this very light color to kind of open them up, make them a little brighter. You can also see here that I put a kind of pinkish brown dopey shade in the center of my lids. So that's how it looks now. And we're almost done. One of the last touches is going to be using this, this eyeliner, but down over here. I'm just going to very softly line it. Like that. I kind of make it look like it's a shadow. And this same other side. And that's done. I'm also going to quickly line the inner lining of my eyes. Final touch mascara. 
with a non-waterproof mascara and if you ask me non-waterproof mascaras are way better because they don't damage your eyelashes and they're not impossible to remove now that that's done i'm just gonna finish up the rest of my makeup to show you the final look I think I'm done with this look. I really like how it turned out and I'll probably show you some pictures I took at the end of this video so stay tuned for that or you can go to my Instagram and see the pictures up there. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Is it still recording? And then it becomes really... Oops! Okay, there's an aircraft passing by.